Hey, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google post, a free and powerful way to drive traffic, leads, and sales to your company. Come on, let's go check it out. With Google Posts, there's three things that you need to keep in mind. First off, it's free. This isn't paid advertising. Secondly, it's all about conversions, not optimization. In other words, you want to drive traffic from Google's search pages back to your website, landing page, or e-commerce store. And third, you're going to need a Google My Business account to get started. This video assumes you already have that set up, and here we are logged into one of our accounts. I'm going to choose Posts. And then you can see here that there's five different options. We've got the COVID-19 post, which I'm going to recommend you stay away from. The Add Offer post for anything, any type of offer you want to promote. The Add Update post when you want to promote just about anything else. The Add Event post when you want to get people to show up at a certain time and place. And the Add Product post when you really want to promote a product. You can choose any one of these and then you'll get a little pop-up window. And then you just fill out the rest of the form. So since this is a podcasting post or podcasting photo, I'll say 50% off podcasting lessons. They've automatically put in a start and an end date for me, but I can change that and I can even add specific times in the day if I want to do that. Then I'll click on add more details and I can offer any details I want to put in here to better describe my offer. So I could do something like in person or remote if I wanted to add in a coupon code, I could. I absolutely recommend that you put a link, because again, we're trying to drive traffic and conversions, but I want to come back to some best practices for links. So for right now, I'll just type in And then finally, if I wanted to enter in any terms or conditions, I can publish this or I can hit preview and see the information before it goes live. I can also go back and quickly change to any one of the other post types. What's new, and you'll notice this one has an add a button, so I have some choices on the kind of calls to action I want. And again, once I do one, I'm gonna again have that opportunity to put in a link. Besides what's new, we've got the event one and the shopping one. Each one has slightly different fields, so you wanna optimize for what your goals are. I do want to offer you some best practices around photos, videos, and links. When you're uploading a photo, it should be in the shape of four by three, sort of like an old fashioned TV. And you definitely want to preview these images because sometimes they're cropped in odd ways that you wouldn't expect. You can, instead of photos, upload a video. Videos need to be under 30 seconds and under 100 megabytes. I also want to give you some best practices around links. Yes, we want to drive traffic from Google to our website or landing page, but we don't want to just type in the URL we're sending people to. Instead, we want to use a UTM code. So when we look at our analytics, we can get better data about where that traffic came from, and if it did come from a Google post, which Google post. That's going to give us a lot more information, and we're going to be able to make better decisions going forward. There's a lot of free tools out there where you can generate your own UTM codes, but I'll just use the Google Campaign URL Builder, and you can see here that I've typed in the uh, URL that I want to send people to, and then for Campaign Source, I put in GMB Post for Google My Business Post. The campaign medium should be organic, and then lastly, put in some sort of campaign name. I use Podcasting Mike. Finally, down here at the bottom of the page, you can see the full URL that we're going to use. Instead of just the simple podcasting URL, we're going to include all this information and that information is then going to go into our Google Analytics or Google Data Studio or whatever tool you use to measure your campaigns and your marketing effectiveness. Well, that's all there is to creating your own Google posts. If you have any questions, pop them into the comments below, but make sure you take advantage of this free and powerful way of driving traffic and conversions for your business.